Hello again. All right, so now I'm going over day three, week two, which would be today, okay? Um, now, if you just started, don't worry about it. You know that everything is due on Thursday and pickups are on Thursday. So every week, Thursday when you drop off, you're also picking up. So please do not forget that there's always going to be work, okay? Um, just also an update. I know who picks up and I know who doesn't. So when I go and I go to pick up your finished work, I go and also check the list that you signed off on to say that you've gotten your work. So please, if you have picked up, don't forget to sign, okay? Um, it happens. Don't worry about it. But just remember to sign that you have picked up your packet. Um, also, make sure that you're trying on your work. This is why I'm recording these lessons. This is why I want to help you through. If it, if you, you return it back to me blank, I'm going to have it in next week's packet for you to take back and do it. Okay, and also make sure that you're turning everything in, organized and together. Now, there was a lot of mix up within and we need everything to be orderly. So it's easy because I've got to go in those packets and I've got to pick up all of that stuff and I don't want to have missed a page. Um, that's another thing that I want to remind you of. Um, just try and this will get easier as we go. This is why I'm recording the lessons because sometimes it's hard to recall some things that we went over a long time ago. But also remember to use your resources of Google, YouTube, put in the subject and there'll be other lessons other than me that somebody else might be able to explain it better than I do. We all learn different and I've went over that in one of my videos. I'm also going to be recording tips and tricks to easier reading, like how to go back and look for answers, because that's a big thing. Um, also, easy ways for comprehension, even if you have to read it over and over again, but also slowing down, taking your time and understanding, and you're going to hear this like a broken record, there is a process to get to a product. You're not going to get your product right away. That process is your effort, the product is the reward. All right, and I need to set you guys up for middle school. You've got to be ready because it's only gonna get harder from here. Okay, so going into day three, week two, which will be today, today's date, your objective is that you'll be, you will be able to identify character traits of all the characters in a story, okay? Step number one, it's always going to be vocabulary is the first thing that you're going to do. I'm going to sound like a broken record on that too. On a separate sheet of paper, you're going to look up the following and whether you need to Google the meaning or you have a dictionary at home. Either one I'll accept. But you are going to look up main ideas, central ideas, character traits, characters, supporting details, um, comprehension, summarizing, and teamwork. So most of those you're probably going to have to Google because the dictionary is not going to exactly have two words at a time, okay? Um, if you Google those, it will give you the definition. Um, then with your independent work, there is a reading passage called the football team. You need to read closely to determine what the text says explicitly and to make logical inferences from it. So remember, in order to make an inference, you've got to have prior knowledge, what you already know, which is your schema, plus what you've read is going to help you infer what's going on in the story. Um, cite the specific textual evidence when writing or speaking to support conclusions drawn from the text. So you're going to basically be talking about a football game. It's going to focus a lot on the quarterback, and you're going to be picking the character traits from your inferencing about that quarterback. Sorry, I'm bumping the thing, so my phone fell, oh well. <laughs> we shall go on, but you're inferring what this quarterback is like, whether it be his internal character traits or his external character traits. So his external, what do football players wear? Internal, what kind of player is he? Okay, what kind of 
football player is he, is he a winning player is he a team player does he work well with his team does he not is he cocky and thinks that he can win all the games by himself or is he somebody who helps the whole team as a whole win the game that's up to you to understand in the story so and then in the end is always a closing assessment and again it's this one's real short it's i believe just two little statements talking about the character traits of the quarterback of the football team. Okay, now remember with character traits, you've got your internal and your external. Your internal character traits are, are you a caring person? Are you mean? Do you have integrity? Are you arrogant? Are you cocky? Um, are you lighthearted? There's so many. Are you honest? Are you dishonest? Are you a bully or are you not a bully? Are you a helper um, so you can be helpful? Um, remember the, the essays that you guys wrote on a character trait and one that you feel is important. So you know my biggest one is integrity because it's what are you doing when no one's watching? Are you doing the right thing or the wrong thing? Having strong integrity is a very, very important and it's a very important internal character trait of a person it says a lot about a person but also your external character traits what color are your eyes what color is your hair how big is your nose how small is your how small are your ears how big are your hands are you thin or fat are you tall or short you know um, do you wear nice clothes or do you wear raggedy clothes you know that's the external character traits what does somebody look like on the outside does, do you wear glasses? Do you not wear glasses? So it just depends, you know, short hair, long hair. Very, those are the very simple character traits. It gets very complex when you try to work from within. So think of all of the internal character traits that these football players have, especially the quarterback, because the quarterback is mentioned quite a bit in the story. Okay? Also, Within your lesson packet, I've got an anchor chart on there. It's a mini one, and use it. Use it because it's something that can help. You don't have my classroom now to look around at those tools. I want to give you those tools now so you have them with you, and you'll be able to look at it and recall information. It's very important. So remember, you can always get a hold of me. Um, I encourage you to download Zoom. It is an app either on your phone or you can download it or well you can go to the Zoom website on your computer so you can Google Zoom and join. After you join, get with 